Solar EV, electric vehicle, car charging. So if you really want to brag that you're saving the environment and helping to reduce air pollution in your home down, then you might want to buy an electric car and invest in a solar charge system. You will charge your electric car with this standard electric car plug. Charger you get with the car mounts conveniently close to your charge port that you will use every day. When everything's working fine with your charge system and you plugged it in right, you will watch your charger light change colors. And your horn will sound. As an option, you can also install a stage 2 charger in your home that will charge twice as fast. Stage 1 and Stage 2 chargers are conveniently mounted next to a breaker box and special outlets. You can easily monitor the amount of electricity you use to charge your car with this inexpensive kilowatt meter. The electric power to charge the car comes out of the standard residential breaker box, which is connected to your power use meter that's connected to your electric utility grid and you can see it moving like a banshee. Because a stage 2 charger like this one uses about the same power as an electric clothes dryer. The stage 1 charger that you get with the car uses about as much as a hair dryer. Okay, so now we know how to build a solar system to meet the needs of our car charging system. The more electricity we use driving around, the more solar panels we may need to use to charge the car. Mounting on the car is foolish, and this would be the amount you'd need for minimum. Even more foolish would be this amount mounted on a car, because you might get like a mile a day with this one. So you got to put them on your house. And it'd be nice if you lived in sunny California, because that's where you're going to get the best sun. You usually find a good place to mount them on your roof, on these racks but they must be well away from shady trees or roof structures that shade you need a nice well-lit solar south face like this one you can mount them on your flat roof or on your tilted roof the racks help you adjust the tilt angle for best solar capturing in your neck of the woods north or south these are some nice Midwestern examples of them neatly mounted flat to the roof. This makes them hard to be seen so as not to affect the curb appeal or offend anyone's aesthetic convictions. If you can't mount them on your roof for whatever reason, the next best option is in your backyard mounted on these pedestals. Way out in the open, they can be placed in optimal positions for maximum sun charging capability. Pedestal mounts like these can also be fitted with these motorized tilting devices that track the sun for even greater efficiency. There are all sorts of tracking pedestal solar mounts for even the toughest shading situation. Most interesting retro-like options that can apply even if you rent a home are these pedestal rack mounts that shade and protect your car while it charges. They kind of look like the now popular thing called pergolas. They can even be designed to be semi-portable if you rent. They can even have tracking motors. We call them EV solar charge ports like the simple, inexpensive carports popular in the 1950s and 60s. The solar panels double as roof structures to shade and protect your car. These ports are a very big advantage to your electric car's range in summer because a shaded car will use less battery power because it needs less power to cool its passengers after sitting out in the bright sun all day, charging! So you can see that the amount of solar panels you're going to need varies a lot depending upon where and how you mount them and how efficient they are on your roof, pedestal, or port. So that's why we are going to suggest that 1 to 3 kilowatts of solar PV panels 
For a standard three-year lease on an electric car will do very nicely to give you up to 100% of the charging you will need for your car in a year. The best and simplest way the solar power is stored and delivered to your car is with what is called a grid tie connection. And the way it works is every day the electricity you make is collected from the panels, run through a grid tie inverter, then do your electric panel and back through your meter. Blowing, stopping, and even reversing the flow of power and money to your utility. You'll push more to the power companies on sunny days and less when it's cloudy. But it's all going to add up to be delivered whenever you need it to your charge plug. Okay, so this is all you need. The solar panels and a grid tie inverter. This one mounted on the wall is really for a bigger solar system. It's like 4KW. And these next inverters are for systems that are, let's say, 1 kilowatt, 1 and a half kilowatts, 2, and perhaps up to 3 kilowatts. Or there are now inverters that actually mount right on the back of the panels, up on your roof or wherever they are, simplifying things even further. Okay, so here's a working example, and it's a work in progress, and we're using it to charge a volt. Flat mounted four 230 watt panels on the roof above the garage to produce almost a kilowatt of solar PV. Hard to see from the curb, and it gets plenty of sun from 9 to 5 every day. In the garage attic, just under the panels, we have a 500 watt grid tie inverter. Night Rider green LEDs mean we are pushing power to slow our meter. And we get the power to the meter through an extension cord that's plugged into the timer set 9 to 5 to an outlet in the attic. Slows or stops the meter every day, cloudy or bright, and we usually charge the volt between 9 to 5 on all really sunny days. We are monitoring our performance with our kilowatt meter and hope to achieve at least 50% solar EV charging this year. The power cords from the panels come through a roof vent and are also connected to a solar charge control that puts the power into batteries. This is the work in progress. An important alternative use for your solar panels these days is for standby power systems. These controllers help this happen, but you will need a special deep cycle battery. They are expensive and they need maintenance and they will need to be replaced. And oh, by the way, did we mention you need a lot of them? So just to wet your whistle, here's a diagram of a solar system with batteries. It's very complicated and it's going to be the subject of movies from this channel in the future. So please subscribe. If you do get an electric car or have an electric car, proclaim your independence with EV charge signs available at Amazon.com. They come in various sizes and can be customized. Just search EV Charge Station Signs at Amazon.com. Hey, this is about all the time we have for now, so please subscribe and share this movie with others.